Hello everybody. Uh, in the last class, we uh, understood how to name the white keys. So, to just have a quick recap, we had C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then we go back to C, and we call them as natural numbers. Right. So next, now we will learn how to name the black keys. All right. So just like how you have this natural symbol. You have a symbol called as a sharp. A popular what we call it as a hash now. This is a sharp. So this symbol will come in front of every note. Example, you can have an A sharp, you can have a B sharp. So what does the what is the meaning of a sharp? The sharp basically raises the note by one semi tone or one step all right so the next question is what is a semi tone right this is a very important concept right so a semi tone is a distance between two adjacent nodes okay <coughs> so now you have to be very clear about the meaning of adjacent nodes right so this c white key and this black key becomes adjacent right and not c and d because the black key comes in between the two white keys similarly the black key and the d note becomes adjacent same way d and this black key the black key and e e and f become adjacent notes right because there is no black key between e and f so there is no black key between e and f similarly f to this black black to g g to black black to a a to black black to b again b and c okay so if you notice here there are no there is no black key between B and C, E and F. So they have a semitone distance. So certain short forms you should be very familiar with because this is commonly used. This is S T in music is usually generally for the semitone. So even if you kind of forget the chart of the keyboard, if you just remember this point that there is no black key between B and C and E and F. That also helps you in charting out the keyboard pattern in your head. So the semitone distance becomes between B and C and E and F. All right. So now that you understood what is a semitone, so the sharp means it raises the note by one semitone. Right. So raises, like I said from the last class, always you are going towards the right of the keyboard. Lowers means you go towards the left of the keyboard. Right. So, if you apply that uh, logic, so C, the black key becomes C sharp. Okay. Similarly, D, the black key next to the D note becomes D sharp. Same way, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp. The next quick question will be, what about, so you had a C sharp, you had a D sharp, you had an F sharp, what about E sharp? So, by this, uh, by this rule, if you write E as sharp, E sharp is nothing but F, because 
f is the node immediately to the right of e so when you raise e by one semitone it becomes e sharp so which is nothing but f similarly between b and c b sharp is the same as c okay so the general rule is natural notes are white keys sharps and flats are black keys but it is not an absolute rule because even though it is e sharp it is a white key b sharp is a white key the rest of them are all black keys again i want you to go back draw this keyboard chart and do an exercise every day to keep on identifying what notes you have on the keyboard so now we have completed naming all the notes on the keyboard by two ways okay we'll go to the flats in the next class